beauty babes. Welcome to another vlog. I am actually right outside of Target. I have to return some stuff that I bought. So the other day I was at work and Anthony wanted to go out after work because of course we had such a long day and I needed clothes to change. So I went to a local Target and I went to go buy a whole outfit, right? And I just hated the way it fit me. So of course I have to come back and return it like a little dumbass because I decided to spend $200 on an outfit that I just did not like. I'm just so irresponsible sometimes and I just don't know how to control myself. I just buy a lot of shit that I just don't need and I end up returning it. You know like when you buy a whole outfit to wear for the night and then you just return it the next day? That's exactly what I'm about to pull right now. I'm just gonna return the whole fucking outfit. I'm just waiting for my phone to charge because I forgot to charge it last night and I'm legit on like 2%. So I'm just sitting here just waiting till it charges. Target. The happiest place on earth, of course. Ah! First stop, of course, shoes. I think I found a pair. I think these are cute for work. need a new rod for my curtain in my living room because the other one broke extra strong twist tension no drilling or tools required sounds like me let's get this thing whoa is this chair really on sale because if it is i'm taking it definitely perfect for penny to just lounge around i love it let's see if they have it so the chair was actually in the wrong spot this is exactly how much it is for 125 girl i don't think so I need to organize my bathroom and they have a lot of things on sale. So I think I'm gonna take this baby for my toothbrushes and this little tray here for all of my beauty stuff and my face wash because it's great and it matches the aesthetic. This has to be my favorite part of Target, no lie. I am obsessed with scent and I am obsessed with my apartment smelling good, so. We're at the right place. By the way, if you need your bathroom to smell good, you need to buy some of these and they're only 99 cents. Hello, you need plenty of these, so I'm gonna take actually two. I like to stock up. And let's stock up on some of these as well. Actually, I think I wanna try some new ones. Should I do this one next? I don't know. This one smells so freaking good too. so freaking hungry right now and i was going to order some chicken alfredo pasta but they said they didn't have any food today so <laughs> thankfully there is a chick-fil-a right across the street so i'm gonna go there hi um let's do the number four the four count come on i am hungry uh yes and then the sauces are laying okay. thank you Let's find somewhere to park, obviously. So I had to take you out of my little tripod thingy because it was just way too much. Anyway, we have our fries here. We have our chicken strips right here. And the sauces that I always get, I always get my Chick-fil-A sauce and my buffalo sauce. Those are my favorites. I love to use my Chick-fil-A sauce with some fries. It's like the most beautiful thing ever. Mmm, so good. Let's try some of this with buffalo sauce. Mmm. I put in my little sauce right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but it fits perfectly there. Oh my god, look at this fry. It's like an actual potato chip. So weird. I know I'm eating like crazy, 
but we have to catch up we have to a lot of you guys have so many questions regarding to that like how do you bounce back from a breakup you know how do you find confidence in yourself how do you start dating again for me girl trust me it's been hard even till this day it's been so hard to kind of get back to the dating scene after everything that i've been through i have trust issues now you know and when you have trust issues you kind of build this wall and you kind of just don't want to let anybody in which sounds very unhealthy and it is very unhealthy which is why you kind of just want to sit back and take time for yourself it's a very scary feeling you know being in love with someone and actually building a future with someone and then all of a sudden that's just taken away from you you just become very vulnerable and being vulnerable can be a, a bad thing because you're just so fragile and you just kind of want to be loved you know you want to be loved it sucks being alone but at the same time in the back of your mind you just keep having issues with yourself a person like me when i have trust issues and i feel like i just can't trust no man i need to just let everything go and focus on myself eventually eventually with time i'm gonna be able to kind of just bounce back and date someone and give them my all and you know give them the trust that they need and vice versa right now girl i'm like i just don't trust anybody i don't trust anybody it's not fair for that person and for myself because when you don't trust someone you kind of question everything that they do you question everything that they say you question their actions you question their feelings you question everything that basically just comes out of their mouth you don't believe anything and that's kind of in the dilemma that i'm in right now i don't believe anything that any man tells me so i kind of just want to stay away from that if i'm still in that mindset where i don't trust you and i feel like everything you're saying is just fucking bullshit I'm not ready to be in no type of a relationship. Do you feel me? I've actually had talks with myself recently and I'm just like, I'm not ready to be in no type of a relationship. I'm not. I, I really, I am not. I'm still kind of healing from what happened to me almost two years ago now. And I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting myself together from that. And right now, if I don't see a future with you and I don't foresee marrying you or you know building a family with you I i'm not wasting my time i'm sorry but i'm not wasting my time you're not gonna put a ring on this finger bye bye i refuse to give someone my all before i'm even a wife like period i'm not gonna give you husband privileges if i don't even have a ring on my finger like boy no no i'm not taking care of no grown-ass man anymore i've already done that i've been there done that and i'm not doing that anymore if you're dating someone and you see a red flag girl run us women we just gotta be smarter sometimes we see all of the red flags and we're just so blind we're so fucking blind to the point where we just play ourselves you know and it's really our fault it's really us because all the signs are there and we still manage to say somehow life is too short for you to be sad life is too short for you to be depressed life is too short for you to be crying over a man so many people in this world and you're letting a one person fuck up your life you're crying over one person nah uh-uh not over here baby girl no 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 go make somebody else's life miserable leave me the fuck alone you're not gonna make my life miserable i've gone on dates with guys already and they turn out to be married. I've gone on dates with guys and they turn out to be fucking liars. I've already been there, done that. You are not about to play me. You are not about to play me. You find out that they're not the person who they actually painted to be, you know? It's, it's, so, it's so fucked up. If you meet a person and you guys are dating, everything's going good, but then you start getting to know that person, right? If they're taking away from you more than they are adding to your life, please let them go. Stay away from that. Someone should enhance your life, not make it worse. Loving a person should be a beautiful thing. Of course, things get rough, things get hard, nothing is ever going to be perfect, but it's about how they treat you. And after so much that has happened to me, I know my value i know my worth i know that i'm worth so much more and people need to understand that it's okay to be alone it's okay to be by yourself take your time 
ease into it. While you're out living your life and you're doing what you're supposed to do, I bet you anything that that person is going to be running right after you. And he's gonna catch up to you. And you're gonna realize that everything was worth it. And until that day comes, and this is for me too because I'm talking to myself right now. When that day comes, you're gonna be the happiest person in the world and you're gonna thank God that he put you through that face in your life for you to be okay. And you're gonna be okay. You are. We're all gonna be okay. We're all in this together. I'm gonna finish this last chicken strip. So, well, we are back home. It's already super late at night since the last clip. I went to the gym and then I cleaned up my apartment and I hopped in the shower. So that is why my hair is like wet and I look like a freaking homeless person. But I am actually going to do some work and plan for the week. It is actually already late. It is 11 p.m. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do. I usually carry all of my stuff, like my tech stuff and like my journal and everything. I carry it in this backpack right here. But this bag, I did get it at Target. I'm in love. You guys know I love Target bags, period. Hopefully one day I get sponsored by Target. That would be like a dream. So <laughs> Target, sponsor me if you are watching this video. Basically, I just want to start preparing for the week. So I just been kind of using this journal. Um, and I actually got this at TJ Maxx and it just says inspiration is everywhere which is so true because I have just been lacking inspiration lately and I feel like that's one of the reasons why I've been MIA on my channel but ever since I started writing and you know just pouring out my little feelings I have just found a lot of inspiration and I just been writing a lot of stuff down and now it has really been motivating me to like stay consistent on my channel of course i'm just gonna give myself a couple of minutes to actually write down what i want to do for the week prepare myself so that i can kind of organize myself a lot better with just from working and then working from home and what i do with my days off and just kind of be more productive and also i have been working out so i definitely need to stay consistent because i am just tired of being a fat ass i just want to be as healthy as i can be and I just want to be healthy and do this for myself and obviously for my health.